Well, obviously, I was I, I was pleased with the energy, the effort, especially the start of game, first half. Uh, you know, we if we would have had that energy and effort against Drake, uh, I, I, I totally believe the outcome would have been different. And, uh, you know, it's part of uh, dealing with a young team, trying to be patient. I was really happy with, as I said, with that. Uh, obviously, some – you know, some plays that went against us. Uh, we have a 13-point lead in the first half. Uh, Nigel gets hit. Uh, we get an intentional or flagrant foul. Bunch of free throws in a row. Uh, totally, you know, changes the game. But to our guys' credit, we finished the half, took the lead. I thought second half, obviously, Wright was just special. And I, I got to give him credit. Um, you know, we, 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 I, we got into him. We pushed him. We made him make plays. And he stepped up and really made plays uh, on, on both ends of the court. I was really impressed by his defense even. He got into Nigel. He got into Mike a little bit, chased him. Uh, you know, kudos to him. I thought they had some other guys really step up. Uh, you got guys like uh, Walker coming off the bench that made some plays for them. Uh, you know, they were just, a, you know, Tad does a good job. He's got an older team. They're very, very solid. Um, defensively, offensively, uh, know their roles, and and they just kind of – we probably lost our poise a little bit second half um, and took some tough shots. We didn't turn it over as much, but we took some tough shots, and uh, we got to learn how to work and get better shots all the time, especially when the momentum goes the other way. Hey, Kellis, I'll start with you. Bruce, some of the guys said that whenever they learn how to play 40 full minutes, they're pretty confident that this team will be good. How far away do you think you guys are from putting 40 minutes together right now? Well, we, we made some progress, but, you know, tonight it was 20-some. So, you know, now we got to get to 25-30. And, and, you know, it just – I thought our bench was much better. You know, I thought Selton, you know, a young man that sat out, 17, 18 days, had three, four days of practice, and now back in there. Um, he made – I thought he was a little better. I thought Rudy Williams, after the other night, at, you know, he. I thought he really stepped up, was better. I, I, I thought Monty gave us a better energy effort. Um, you know, so we're going to need everybody just – and it's going to be key. But, uh, you know, slowly but surely figure out some roles. I think, you know, Mike and Dejuan, it wasn't as easy today. And, and they got to learn to be the guy. doesn't mean you have to make every play. You got to let the game come. And you know, I was happy Mike got five assists. That was impressive. Rudy gets three assists. But just too many turnovers. Selton's been all since he got here. Turnovers are, you know. And then we had a bunch of, I don't know, you guys probably know better than I, but it seemed like charges and uh, legal screens and hook on a post up, you know, all those little fouls or turnovers. And they, they were – you know, big momentum stop uh, stoppers for us. Did that stretch when Nigel had to come out in the first half and they made their run? Does that show how important he is to your offense? Well, and whole team right now. Well, he's plus nine when when we're in there. When he was in there in the first half, and obviously it was a big difference when he went out. But and he, and he he's a good player. There's no doubt. I I just hope and pray he's okay. Um, you know, he, he he got hit pretty hard. Uh, he said he was okay. I, I don't think he was perfect in the second half, but, you know, we'll hope we'll know more by tomorrow. We can't – it would be – I don't want to miss him. Um, you know, but he he gives us another look. Another guy can pass. Another guy can come off screens. Um, and they all just got to figure it out. I, I've told them over and over, college basketball is hard. They had to learn the hard way against Drake today. And even winning is harder. And, you know, UMKC, we got to – first got to come out that same – enthusiasm, the bench was great, the energy, the defense, and then we got to keep our poise when teams make runs. All right, thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay, Jackson Snyder. Hey, Coach, just off that a little bit, what what can you do as a coach to help your, your team with, with them being younger kind of deal with those runs coming from other teams? How do, how do you teach – like that composure when teams start making runs like that? I think the thing that happened several times, and even Nigel, a little uncharacteristic in the second half, they're all trying to go make plays on their own and let it instead of letting the game come. And that part of that's practice, playing together, being together, understanding how we can get, you know, when we need a shot, getting it to the right people at the right time. 
um, you know, that's, that's going to, that's, that's, it's just going to be a matter of time working together, working through some of these, um, you know, I, I think that'll be important. You know, I thought start of the second half, days one had a couple wide open threes corner, you know, somebody makes good passes. We make a couple of those. Now we keep the game close, but it just, we just, you know, it's that poise, understanding who's the go-to guy, how we're going to get them open, when to go inside. Um, we just, you know, that it's all part of growing up. It's all different for everybody. You know, not only the new guys that have never played, but also Mike to be the guy and Dejuan to be one of the guys. It, it's a different role and they all got to figure that out. And it's just going to be games and practice to get better. And then just, We've talked with you a couple of times about how difficult it's been for your team not being able to go five on five as much as you like. But now with two games under your belt, do you feel like the team's kind of starting to mesh a little bit better getting the, those five on five reps now? Yeah, I don't. I mean, we're not where we need to be, but, you know, it definitely helped. And, and again, you know, it started with energy. It started with enthusiasm. started with defense. started with, um, you know, a little better execution. And then, you know, when teams – it's just like the Drake game. It was, what, 57 up or 52 up or whatever. Now it's gut check. Now having the poise to get into something, not trying to go make your own play on your own. Um, you know, I thought the play hard chart, we were – you know, we were – that energy in the first half, we were really good. And then the second half, they – I don't even know, did they turn it over? Almost nothing. And they, they just – they we didn't have quite the pop and uh, that we needed to. So that – it'll come with time. Um, I wish we had more practice. Obviously, tomorrow we just kind of – it'll be a – we'll be in the gym, lift, lifting weights, shooting, talking. Uh, and then Sunday, really good prep for UMKC off Tuesday. And then we got to have three good days of practice going into UNLV. And then I just wanted to ask you on, on that, you know, having three games in six days just right off the bat, that has to be kind of a, a challenge when you haven't been able to go game speed a lot to just have that much live action that quickly. Do you think that fatigue may be a problem or do you think your team's now maybe a little more up to speed? I'm smart tomorrow. Um, I, you know, we had a, about a two hour walk through today. So, I, and they still came back with great energy, but uh you know, I, I think even I asked Mike walking out after doing the radio, were you tired? And, and he won't admit, I, I'm sure he was. I know he talked to me about the Drake game, just, you know, to play 35 minutes, to play that hard, to play defense, to be, have the guy chase, run around screens and all that stuff. Guard the best player. It's not easy. So, you know, you build up, there's regular conditioning, then there's practice conditioning, then there's game conditioning. And, we, we missed a bunch of practice conditioning. Now we've had to jump right into game conditioning. And, um, you know, I, I, I hope it's a good thing. We'll see Monday night. Hope we, I hope we are, are, have that same enthusiasm, same energy as we had tonight. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Yep. Uh, Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, it, it appeared some of your long misses uh, from the perimeter on three-point shots kind of triggered their their uh, transition in the second half. How do you address that? Um, you know, one, you know, you got to be a little more patient, make them. Um, I, again, I, you know, I, I, as I said, I thought Dejuan had two wide open ones. You know, he's, he's got to make them. I, you know, Nigel goes four for six, um, you know, Mike McGurl, maybe a little trigger happy, trying to make a play, a couple of ones against Gray, a couple today. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, Selton, the guy hasn't practiced. You know, we, if he makes another, he made one tonight, makes another one tonight. It's a little different. But we also, part of it, and I said earlier, I was worried about uh, sustained defense, but I was worried about transition defense. And that's kind of as a figuring it out as a team, Hey, somebody drives. Even though I'm not safety, I'm in back. I got to get back. I can't give up an easy one. Um, and I, I don't, you know, it says 21 points off turnovers. I'm not sure if they were like led to easy ones. They obviously they got a couple easy ones, but uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, we got to just be a little more patient, a little more efficient. First half, unbelievable. 54%, 46 from three, 10, 10 assists on 12 baskets. Second half, you know, not only four or four assists on 11 baskets. So trying to do too much on their own, too much with the dribble. Got to do a little more. And, again, maybe their defense stepped it up too. 
Did you see defensive improvements from the Detroit game? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, but uh, obviously the score doesn't show it that much. Um, you know, I thought we were way better, especially for that first probably 15 minutes of the first half. Um, and, you know, again, it, it, Casey's never played 29, 24 minutes. Some of these guys have never played that. Uh, so, you know, we're going to – if we're going to – you know, it's just going to be a learn, listen, learn, watch, get better. That's all they can do. Thank you. Arnie Green. Yeah, Bruce. Um, in the second half, you went with Rudy and uh, and Nigel. Was that for a while? Was that trying to maybe free Nigel up for a few more looks? Yeah, I, I, you know, get get him running. Uh, you know, I, I think that that's a big thing. Uh, you know, a little bit. Those I think days one and Mike got to learn. You know, and this just and just like Nigel's got to find Mike. Uh, and then they got to find Nigel sometimes too. And it's not for him always to score, but then to make the next play. I think one thing as Nigel progresses, he's got to learn, you know, it, it, he can also get five assists. Uh, Wright gets 24 points, but he gets five assists also. So, um, you know, that it's, you got to, we, we just got to help each other, learn to play together, learn to execute a little better, make that extra pass, all that team basketball stuff. You win as a team, not as an individual. And, uh, you know, I thought we made some strides as a, our team played tonight. But obviously, um, tough game, uh, experienced team, you know, that they're older. And, and you know, it is it's not an excuse. It is it's a fact. And, uh, but all we can do is keep working, get better. I thought we made improvement. So now do we make improvement Monday night? Okay, Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach, is uh, Antonio earned a full-time role there, or is it Montavious just hasn't been good enough? What's the story there? I, I, you know, I, I, you know, when you look at the plus-minus the other day, Monty was not very good, and then today he actually was better. So, um, you know, he, he was plus two. We had a few guys in the plus and a lot of guys in the minus. So I thought Monty gave us a good lift. Um, you know, I told them I, Monty got the start the other night. Tone played better. I started Tone second half. Today, Tone played a little better. I, you know, he, he's got to get better on defense. Uh, Monty's always been better defensively. Um, but I need them both to play. It would be great if they one played 20 or the other one played 20 or 22 and 18 because they each give us something different. Um, and, you know, they, it, they're still only sophomores, and both of them missed parts of last year. So, um, you know, they're, they're learning and growing. I, I'm, I'm happy with Tone's progress. He basically missed the whole summer and even part of the fall. So, you know, he's, he's starting to make some progress. I know you're about to focus more in on him now, but what can you tell us about UMKC and how uh, they'll look on Monday? I, I'll be honest, I don't know. Uh, I know they won by 100 to, to 10 or something the other night, and uh, they had another game today against an NAI school. I didn't see the score. They, they play uh, Brad Korn's group tomorrow, I believe, SEMO. Um, you know, we'll get a little better feel of them. I know they lost some players. I know they finished on a positive note. I know Billy, uh, my brother coached them, uh, you know, at Glenbrook North. Um, great, comes from a great family, good coach. Uh, been under Coach Beeline, uh, you know, been with some really good people, Coach Collins. So uh, they'll, they'll come in here and they're going to they're gonna play hard. There's no doubt about it. You know, we talked about our games. They're they're going to – that'll be their fourth game. It'll be our third game. So, um, you know, we'll – I just, I just want to focus on our energy, our, our effort, and, and making progress that way. 